What's up guys, Dima here with another super awesome Hackintosh build for audio and video nerds. Um, what I got going on is, uh, firstly you'll see I have Pro Tools running. What's interesting about this is that it's Pro Tools HD. And what we're using are the old HD PCI X cards, super old school. Ironically, they are only 5% slower in an HD3 configuration than the PCIe versions. And they're a whole lot cheaper. So if you have them, or if you're building an HD system, this might be a sweet option for you. Um, what I have here is the demo session. Um, we're using 192 voices. Obviously, total overkill for this. Also, I am running with the lowest... Uh, Hard, yeah, the lowest possible hardware buffer size. Um, I'm using half of the available processors, but 100% of them. Um, I find that that's the best setting for that. Um, we got delay compensation going. Let's turn disk caching on and allocate eight gigs. And plug in, I mean, level four is what I normally use. For my system every system is different don't use these settings just because I did you know it's it's very different uh, for everything you do so now you'll see that I don't know if you guys noticed that but the timeline is cached that means that everything is running off of the uh, the RAM and RAM as we know is way faster than the hard drive when we press play this bad boy plays immediately. There's no lag, there's no delay. If we skip through the session to over here and press play, it plays. RAM is fast and we don't have to worry about our disk is not even moving. Um, we have 32 gigs of RAM in this bad boy and let me show you the inside. You may be impressed. The, uh, the case I use, um, I showed it off before. Um, It's kind of sexy. And what I really like about these cases that I use is that, I don't know if you'll be able to see in this video, sorry about the mess by the way, this is like the second build going on. This, you can't see it, but it's a very, very heavy, very dense material that they use on the inside to insulate it from any noise. And they use it on both sides and on the front of the case. <clears throat> so, here we have it, HD3 on PCI X cards, um, and we're using a 96 I.O. temporarily. Um, you can hook up whatever you want, obviously. You can hook up six 192s if you wanted to. So lots of options there. Um, if you own the systems, you guys obviously know what, what's going on. But this can be had, these three cards can be had for about a thousand bucks. Um, if you can find them, you can grab these for about a thousand dollars and have an HD3 system. Um, the processor is an i7 Sandy Bridge processor. The RAM, 32 gigs of 1600 megahertz RAM. Unfortunately, this motherboard is limited to 1333. This is the only motherboard that has four PCI slots. So we're actually going to add another PCI. Uh, X HD card to this. We're gonna have HD4 in here. That's the max that you can load into this guy. This is the only motherboard that has four PCI slots without a bunch of junk. Well, it's the only one that has four. Some have three, but they don't use. They use a PCI to PCIe bridge, which does not work. And also, they usually have a bunch of heat sinks and crap on the motherboard that prevents you from installing the cards without removing heat sinks or doing other stuff that sucks. Um, so this board, you know, which just works really well for this. It has five SATA ports. Two of them are SATA 6 ports, those blue ones, uh, the blue cables. Uh, SATA 3 is those two red cables. And they go to uh, batteries dying. Um, almost done anyways. A three terabyte and a second three terabyte. Um, Seagate. The Seagate has some new drives that I really like the performance of. Um, better than Western Digital Caviar Blacks in benchmark tests. 
that I've run. Um, and I am a huge fan of Western Digital Black Caviars, so that says a lot. And uh, they're not that expensive. We have a 240 gig uh, Mushkin Kronos, very, very fast, solid state drive connected to the SATA 6 port, and a 320 gig Western Digital Caviar Blue as a backup and storage drive. Um, we have these Cougar fans all over the place, um, and they are extremely quiet, extremely efficient fans. This case, you will not even know that it's on once I put the side covers on. Um, so that's that for the insides. Let's hit play. Um, I have nothing hooked up to the one to the 96, so we're not going to hear anything. But our faders are moving. Um, you know it works. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we can get this thing. Oh, we're on input mode. Okay. I don't remember how to do it, but I know it's possible. One second. No, it's not in there. Oh, where do you change on the 96 IO? Where you, you switch between input and output monitors. God damn it. Uh, utilities? No, no, no. Whatever. You get the idea, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, it's not the fastest system because you can't overclock this motherboard, unfortunately. But, like I said, this is as fast as you're going to get a system with um, old HD PCI or PCIX cards. It really does not get better than this. It Geekbench is at about 13,000. Um, it has 32 gigs of RAM. We can load up five, or five hard drives and a DVD-ROM if we wanted to. There's also an mSATA um, port on there. Um, we are using a silent video card, the Asus EN210, one gigabyte DDR3. This guy right here. Um, sorry about the dark video, guys. I, my flashlight or my battery is going low, so that's that. But um, yeah, it it works. Um, it works really well. It boots really fast. In fact, let's show that before I end this video. <sighs> Whatever. Save. Close. Close. Free up the DSP. Actually, cancel. There's one thing while I'm in here that I want to modify. Select all. Copy 32 items. Sorry, this is boring, but I'll explain what I'm doing in a second. Replace all. Keep watching, keep watching. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna make this boot screen look cool. I love Tony Mac, he's the best, but the little Apple logo's gotta go. So let's hope that works. Um, so we are running Lion. Uh, this is something that a lot of people have had issues with running a lion with Pro Tools 10 HD on a hack. And here's our new boot screen. We still got the Tony Mac logo, but this one looks way cooler, way more vanilla. Um, let's load the lion. So yeah, we're running 10.7.3 with the latest version of HD 10, which I believe is 10.1.234 or something like that. 
Um, so, I mean, that was pretty freaking fast. This SSD is a champ. I like it. Um, no sleep. Not going to happen with this motherboard. Um, and I edited my own DSDT. Um, Mike 1666's DSDT didn't work in Lion for me. Um, but uh, it worked on the last system I did in Snow Leopard. So I'll share this on a Tony Mac X86, the DSDT. I mean, very like simple edits, nothing super crazy. Um, I had internal video onboard HD3000 video working until I plugged in the second monitor and then Chimera would uh, not work. You know, it just immediately when you select the operating system, it would crash. I could have gotten into the OS, then plugged in the second monitor. That worked great. Um, no artifacts, full acceleration, but, you know, that's not going to fly. And I battled with it for a few hours, couldn't figure it out. So we had the video card. It's only 40 bucks. you know, um, make our lives easier. No weird EFI strings in our boot list. Um, everything is looking pretty good. In fact, just going to show quickly what we have going on in here. If you're building one of these, and we're using the Mac Pro 3,1. Mac Pro 5.1 didn't work. I kept getting kernel panics on ACPI. So anyways, that's that, guys. If you have any questions, uh, message me and um, I'll help you guys out I've got a couple more of these coming up this month and uh, they were great um, got some references if you need them um, super solid systems uh, pretty much the only you know cost effective option for guys with old cards that aren't ready to go to HDX or you know don't want to spend a buttload of money for PCIe versions of the same card, which is almost the same in performance. Very, very marginal difference. Um, so, yeah. Message me with any questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.